guys welcome back to Zambrian guys so in this tutorial we are going to create programmatic cell page and programmatic tab page using c -Sharp. so we'll be using c -Sharp in order to generate dynamic pages for our tab page and for our cell page at first we are going to make our programmatic tab page so let's create a tab page by selecting your shared project add a new file and then inside the form section you will just select our tab page and at first you will just see like this this is the android configuration for adding bar items at bottom these are some properties for our tab page for decoration so this is the tab page name that I will be calling it from my C sharp part in order to generate dynamic pages so here you can see that same tab page name is added with navigation page and that navigation page is added with test page 1 and test page 2 so this tip, test page 1 and test page 2 are like separate pages that will be associated with each navigation page so these are some separate pages that we will be calling it from our main tab page and you can see over here we have icon image source with some font image source variables so each font image source is with two property that is font family and grip so let's discuss about grip at first from this URL so we will be downloading some font from here so after clicking on that download so let's download that file after downloading that file we will be adding that font that is material design icon we will just rename that to material design icon .ttf and we can just copy that over here but be sure you are using Xamarin forms version 4.6 and above so we have our embedded resource for that specific file now we need to convert that icon font to code from this website I'll give that link in my videos description below you can just go over there and then click on browse we will be searching that same specific file that was downloaded before so this was the file that was downloaded so you can see over here we have lots of icons that are 5128 glyphs icon so you can use any of them in the tab bar so you can see over here we have user icons so these user icons we have defined over assembly information you can see over here so this is the same file name that we have downloaded and made it to embedded resource you have to make sure you are in Xamarin forms version 4.6 and above so this is the new way of adding embedded fonts inside our Xamarin forms app so that's all for our dynamic tab page integration now let's integrate a basic dynamic cell tab bottom bar so we'll be using some content page you can see over here it's simple content page where i have renamed that content page to cell so that it will use all the cell properties associated with it so as like our programmatic tab page here i have given x name as tab bar and we'll be creating some dynamic contents out of this jamal you can take this tab bar in c sharp 2 and then create all the tab items within the c sharp 2 so i prefer this way here you can see i have added content as test page 1 test page 2 so these are some navigation that to be done whenever bottom tab of cell is clicked so the icon will be like you will be adding those icons in resources drawable folder of android and resources folder of ios and you can use 
this way of adding font icons to inside our programmatic cell page now you can call this font image source over here you can just use image too so here I am using some font icons so that's all now we are going to load our this programmatic cell page from our app.jml let's run our programmatic cell page so it contains two font icons and one image that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching